I want to demonstrate something um, that might be basic uh, machine shop knowledge for some, but for those like me who are fairly new and really, I mean, I've done a, a fair amount of some woodworking, some, you know, handy stuff, you know, things like that, but at home, but not a whole lot of metalworking. And so I've learned this kind of by, I guess, after I've drilled about uh, 500 holes. Um, when you're drilling, and, and right now I'm still working on the stabilator, and as you know from my previous vi videos, it's a very large, awkward piece. Right now I have it laying flat on the table, uh, but raised up off with some um, two by fours. So the Clecos on the bottom are not hitting, but get to the point. Um, I found that using lube and bow lube is very good. Uh, I like to do it every few holes. And I'm up drilling the pilot hole. And so basically the trick that I've kind of learned is, is to start off slow and don't go, you know, too fast, and don't go deep. Uh, go, don't put the uh, bit too far in. Don't let it go too far in if you can help it. It makes for a much nicer, cleaner hole, and I'm going to try and demonstrate this, and hopefully it will work. So here we go. Just like that. And that is what I would consider to be a very good... Uh, up drilled hole to one eighth of an inch and I hope you can see it right there. I can't see the screen so hopefully I've got it on the right one. Um, works very well. Uh, just a minor trick when you're doing this and you, there's just no way you can put this on. I can't put it on a, a, a drill press and it would just take way too long. So the easiest I found is to use my uh, battery powered hand drill. I also have an air drill but I find that to be a little bit harder to control. So hopefully that tip helps. More to come. I just watched that video where I was uh, showing about showing you drilling this uh, pilot hole up to one eighth, and I noticed that it looked like uh, I was not exactly perpendicular with the drill bed, and that concerned me a little bit. But after um, I put the Clico in, I think you can see the gold Clico or the copper colored Clico is the one eighth, and the silver the smaller three thirty seconds that it actually lines up really well. It's nice and uh, uh, vertical, perpendicular to the sheet. Um, so I think it's fine. Um, I don't think being off at a little bit of an angle like that it was, is a big concern, but I'm gonna try and uh, do better. I actually thought I was really like right on 90 degrees, but obviously I was a little bit off, but it looks like they're lining up fairly well, and I think they're fairly uh, vertical to the piece. More to come.